Here are a few of the guys who had the most expensive affairs ever. Number nine, Alec Wildenstein. Alec Wildenstein was married to Jocelyn Wildenstein, who was also known as the Bride of Wildenstein and Catwoman. That name for her countless plastic surgeries in order to keep her looks up for Alec. Unfortunately, it seemed to have the opposite effect because she found him in bed with another woman and that's why the divorce happened. They ended up having a highly publicized divorce. Who was Alec anyways? Alec was a French businessman, art dealer, racehorse owner, and member of the powerful multi-billionaire Wildenstein family. Back in 1978, he married Jocelyn, but they later divorced in 1999, basically because of his infidelities. He had to give her a whopping two and a half billion dollars at the time of the divorce and a hundred million dollars a year for the next 13 years. The crazy thing is that even after getting two and a half billion dollars, Jocelyn Wildenstein filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in federal court just 19 years after becoming a billionaire from her divorce. Hey, do us a quick favor and hit that like button down there. Number 8. Rupert Murdoch Rupert Murdoch's second wife, Anna Torv, received $1.7 billion after their 31-year marriage ended. Anna was just 18 years old and working for Rupert Murdoch's Sydney newspaper, The Daily Telegraph, when she had the opportunity to interview Murdoch. Well, let's just say she took full advantage of that interview and they got married shortly after Murdoch split from his first wife. Murdoch and Torv appeared to have had a solid marriage for 31 years, and during that time, they had three children together. But trouble started when Anna asked Rupert to quit his job and retire with her, which Murdoch didn't want to do. But what really set things off, supposedly, was that Anna grew suspicious that Rupert had a girlfriend named Wendy Dang. So she pushed for a divorce, and even though Murdoch insists that he didn't become romantically involved with Wendy Dang until after their separation, they married just 17 days after the divorce was finalized. Murdoch and Dang themselves divorced 14 years later, but Murdoch signed a prenup this time. Number 7. Harold Hamm Harold Hamm was just another middle-aged multi-millionaire worth around $50 million when he married Sue Ann Arnell, his second wife. However, during their time together, he became a billionaire. As the chief executive and majority shareholder of Continental Resources, Harold came to own the largest piece of the greatest oil discovery in the shale-rich plains of North Dakota. His net worth was more than $18 billion at one time during the course of their marriage. But Sue Ann accused her husband of infidelity, and after she had moved out of their home to a different city, she began documenting his extramarital behavior on audio and videotapes. Harold admitted to spending roughly 150 grand on an affair in court filings. After a nine-week trial, a judge in Oklahoma City ruled that Harold had to pay nearly $1 billion to Sue Ann. Number 6. Adnan Khashoggi for almost two decades, Saudi billionaire, entrepreneur, and arms dealer Adnan Khashoggi held the record for the most expensive divorce settlement in history. Adnan was worth as much as $4 billion in the 80s. Before the divorce, he was known for being one of the richest men in the world. Later on, he was in the news for the most expensive divorce settlement at the time. After 13 years of marriage, Adnan and Saraya Khashoggi decided to split. Apparently, they actually both had their own dates on the side. Adnan supposedly had up to 11 pleasure wives on the side, while Soraya was seeing former parliament member Jonathan Aitken. The Khashoggis raised five children together that included four sons and one daughter. However, Soraya gave birth to one more daughter named Petrina after the divorce. The DNA test revealed that Petrina actually wasn't Adnan's daughter, but Aitken's. Even with that little interesting information, the couple still agreed to a settlement that gave Soraya $874 million. Number 5. Dmitry Rabolovlev Elena Rabolovlev is a Russian divorcee who was granted the world's largest divorce settlement ever of $4.8 billion from her ex-husband Dmitry. But that award was cut to around $600 million by another judge after her husband appealed the decision. That's a huge difference, but still, it's a settlement over a half a billion dollars. Dmitry is one of the small group of Russians who became ridiculously rich during the post-Soviet privatization of the economy. 
He's the former owner of Uralcali, a company that produces and exports fertilizers. Dimitri's wealth came from the sale of his stake in Uralcali for $6.5 billion in 2010. Elena was by his side as he rose from a doctor turned entrepreneur into a stockbroker and banker before becoming chairman and majority shareholder of Uralcali. But Elena came across documents on Dimitri's computer containing the passport information of various guests visiting their yacht. The information included a lot of names of girls she didn't recognize. Yep, Dimitri's mistresses. This was what exactly triggered the divorce that Elena filed within weeks. Next came the long back and forth court battle that was publicly reported. After eight long years, they reached an undisclosed settlement. We're gonna guess it was more than $600 million. Number four, Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson and Robin Denise Moore had 26 long years of marriage and seven children together. But Mel's girl on the side, actress Deanna Alois, proved to be too much for his ex-wife. Mel's mistress actually offered to help his wife win the divorce because Mel had lied to her too about the truth of their relationship. Their divorce was one of the most expensive celebrity divorces ever. When the divorce was finalized, Robin received a huge $425 million divorce settlement. Some of Mel's wealth was immediately transferred to Robin in particular, two Malibu homes worth a combined $22.5 million. Essentially, she got half of Mel's fortune. The couple didn't have a prenup, and therefore Robin was entitled to half of his worth. It seems fair, they've been married for so long and they had seven kids together, and she supported him for most of his career. What do you think? What are some of Mel's assets? Well, in addition to cash, there's a hundred plus million dollars in real estate investments worldwide. For example, Mel bought an island in Fiji for $15 million back in 2005. As for film residuals, Robin is entitled to half of every future check Gibson receives for the rest of his life. Number three, Bernie Ecclestone. Bernie Ecclestone is the former CEO of Formula One. He's one of the most popular British billionaires and Bernie is well known for his marriages. After 24 years of marriage, his divorce from his second wife, Slavika, got a ton of attention. Bernie at the time was among the richest people in the UK as he was worth an estimated 2.4 billion pounds. Slavika wanted to get a divorce because of Bernie's quote, unreasonable behavior. Well, he admitted to asking her if he could have a mistress. Well, at least he was honest about it. The divorce settlement was estimated around 1.2 billion pounds, but there appears to be an unusual twist. Rather than Bernie paying Slavika a good chunk of his fortune, she was actually paying him at the rate of 100 US million dollars a year. But how? This unusual payment scheme from an offshore account was arranged more than a decade before they divorced. Bernie's assets were transferred into his and Slavika's name in the 90s at a time when he faced heart problems. If he had died, she would have had to pay 40% inheritance tax on money received from him. Normally, spouses are exempt from this, but not in Bernie's special case. Number two, Vladimir Potanin. Ever try to get off easy for something you know is gonna end badly? That's essentially the case here. Natalia Pananin was married to Vladimir Pananin for 30 years and had three children together, but they got divorced in 2014. Vladimir claimed that he and his wife had come to a $140 million cash settlement, as well as splitting a portfolio of properties and a monthly allowance of $250,000. But his former wife denied she ever agreed to anything. Under Russian law, wealth acquired during a marriage is split equally. That's why Natalia filed a petition in court for a claim for her fair share of half. Vladimir owns 30% of the world's biggest nickel producer, Norilsk Nickel, which has a market value of $30 billion. She was hoping to get half of his $15 billion fortune at that time. Natalia apparently was driven by revenge because her husband announced he wanted to end their marriage of 30 years because he had a child with his secret mistress. The secret mistress ended up becoming his second wife. Unfortunately for her, a Russian court rejected her claim in July 2017, arguing that the lawsuit's limitation period had expired. Number one, Jeff Bezos. The Bezos divorce is the most money anyone got in history from a divorce. When the divorce first became public, the internet was shocked by the fact that Jeff didn't have a prenup to protect his billions. 
Yep, Jeff Bezos was the one that cheated and filed for divorce. His mistress was news anchor Lauren Sanchez. The way that their relationship came out was actually because of Lauren's brother. For some reason, Lauren texted her brother Michael texts that Jeff Bezos sent her. So he then sold the screenshots to the National Enquirer. And that's how Jeff Bezos was outed to the world with having a mistress. Mackenzie Bezos was, by many accounts, instrumental in founding Amazon, so the money she's getting is definitely appropriate. After their divorce settlement, Mackenzie instantly became one of the world's richest women thanks to an estimated $35.7 billion worth of assets that got put in her name. Here's what's next.